I love these. These are limpet shells. They're really cool, uh, cone shaped. And uh, they already come with a hole drilled in them. Ooh. And a piece of sea glass. Perfectly, perfectly intact sand dollar. Um, this sand dollar is okay to take. It is not alive. Um, you would know, you would easily be able to tell the difference between a live and a dead sand dollar. Um, the live ones will have little, uh, either fur-like, almost, uh, fibers growing all over them. It usually be like a dark gray. But they say any of them that are out here just totally nothing obvious like that. And white. It's a dead one. It's, it's okay to take. The seagulls will usually break these apart. So I feel like finding a nice sand dollar here on the coast is uh not so common. Okay. This little chamber. If we time this right, and that wave recedes. That wave recedes right there. We can run around the corner. just right or we could climb up and over this but let's try to avoid the climbing right now yeah yeah so, a little deep here here the sea cave this is a secret passageway the ocean coming in here look at all this cool sea light Head into the cave and see if we can cut through. What is that? A glimpse of daylight means. <laughs> Man, how cool would that be? That'd be freaky, huh? Oh, I love this sea star. See this? Beautiful purple. These anemones right next to it. The cousins. They're hanging out. These are all gooseneck barnacles and mussels. See a bigger wave coming through here. You almost like don't know how deep this water is. Can do this quick. All right, let's try and sneak through here. Ooh, that was deep. Did not expect that to be waist deep right there. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Canada Goose.
one, two. definitely one of those areas where I feel like I might be the only one that knows about it. First step we do, come down that little ledge. Then, I believe, we kind of work this crack right here down, or it was this spot right here. Also, the cost to enter this secret sea cave is one sand dollar. So that's why I like to, every time I come here, tuck a little sand dollar right there. And somehow, it's always gone every time I come back. So yeah, we did just work down that. Right here. Or ground level heading towards the cave this area was never this crazy with boulders and I'm looking up here and it kind of looks like right there there's a recent break erosion wise so this cave could be completely sealed off at some point. This is a crab trap right here too. It's just absolutely loaded. Look at all those crabs. Oh, it's beautiful. These are all really good sized shore crabs. And they are everywhere. I normally don't go in the tide pools here too much, but I just really want to show you guys. Some giant green anemone can really be looking like in full bloom there. So cool. There's another short crab right there. Huge red sea star. see that texture there but oh my god that's awesome it's called the carnelian but that texture is just out of control it's like peeling down to its bands you can see those grooves peeling <laughs> it's probably find of the day right there can't see it getting too much better than that. That's one of the ones that doesn't even go in the bag with the rest of them. That one goes in your pocket, zippered, and closed. <laughs>
just so you know, we haven't even gotten into the cave, like actually into the cave floor yet. This is just all the tide pool entryway. So based off of what I just found a moment ago, this tide pool is always worth stopping and taking a peek into. I mean, one thing you can't even truly tell about this area is how, how deep, like for example, if I was aiming this, what I thought was straight on, this would just be smooth, straight, like a smooth, straight thing. So this is inclining a mound of, of tumbled gravel going upwards, like, I don't know, 10, 20 feet over there at the farthest point. So this is just, this could, you could bring a rake in here and just spend days here just sifting through all this. It'd be ridiculous. The amount of gravel in here is absolutely ridiculous. And it is just like, here's another one. I mean, I'm not even leaving this spot right here. I'd, I'd be curious to see how many I could find right here in this vicinity without even getting up, without even moving. You know, and I'm not even, oh wow, look at this banded guy. That's a cool Jasper. See, I'm not even really here for the Jasper, but <laughs> man, if, if there's really nice pieces, I'll, uh, I'll certainly take a look at it. Oh, look, here's another one over here. So it's, just crazy you know because I mean right here I haven't even really moved I already got a small handful of items I haven't I haven't roughed up the surface at all and I haven't even gone into there so stay tuned okay so we got that guy there and also see this guy here oh yeah good banding there Two nice uh, little surf tumbled nuggets. And we still haven't even moved from this, this initial spot. I mean, this, <laughs> the hard part about this place is getting, uh, just wanting to spend the whole day in here and, and you can't get out. Hey okay, guys, I just found a blue agate. Not a big one, but a nice blue black. And uh, that's a total score, these are rare. I just found this little couple here, but I didn't want to just keep breaking my camera out for for every single little find, but another little handful. <laughs> so I'm just working my way across the entryway of this cave, and I just saw this glowing. light huge Kelsedney nodule oh actually there's a little agate some banding in there it looks like there's an inclusion somewhere behind it too Awesome. <laughs> so we already got like uh, whatever half a half a quart of uh, agates already, and they're just popping up everywhere. It's like one of the most. Um, I mean, not all of them are huge, but one of <laughs> it's just one really fun area to poke around in because you never know what you're gonna find in here and there's just good stuff everywhere I 
this is uh, this is where we take a peek at the scores of the day. A lot of carnelian. At least I know I got at least a few blues, but really good day. <laughs> really awesome adventure and uh, now I gotta make my way out of here so thanks for checking this out with us see you next time